One comic book that's been doing really well, actually, is Spawn. It's kind of seen a little bit of a resurgence this year. A lot of these books have been doing some pretty good numbers. Now, these are, of course, shipped numbers, not sold numbers. But I would say that these books probably are selling pretty good. I know at the shop I go to, uh, I've been told they're, they're selling pretty well. I really like what Todd McFarlane is doing with the books. He's making a Spawn universe and making different Spawn characters. Like this is Gunslinger Spawn. We have King Spawn, which is actually a pretty good book. So, you know, it's, it's never been easier to get into Spawn. They've also been releasing big omnibuses. I just bought the first one. It's 60 bucks, and you get the first 50 issues in it, which I think is a pretty good deal. So I'm looking forward to reading all of Spawn. There'll only be like six of them because I, I don't remember. I think there's like, what, 300 issues of Spawn? So, yeah, six. So it's pretty cheap if you want to get into Spawn. Like, you can, you can pick up those big omnibuses and... Catch up with the series as those come out in a cheap way, too, by the way. 300 issues, $60 a piece. I mean, only the first one's out right now. So it's, a, it's an easy and convenient way. I really like it when they do stuff like this. So Spawn's doing better than most. 385 issues for Gunslinger Spawn, which comes out this month. It's pretty good. Though, so like I said, this is shipped, not sold. Though I still think a lot of these will sell. So, pretty interesting. The The Spawn franchise is seeing a little bit of a revival, like I said. And with this interest comes information on the comic book movie. So, Spawn's Todd McFarlane says the reboot won't rehash the same origin story. This is coming from this interview. And there's some concerns in here. So this is teasing Spawn Universe's future movie and The Scorched, which is looked like a team-up book of Spawn's. Actually, it looks pretty cool. I, I really like this design, by the way. He describes it as like a Clint Eastwood Spawn, which kind of sounds pretty cool. But the movie, I now have some concerns with. So they signed on screenwriter Brian Tucker to write the screenplay for the Spawn movie. And this is this is concerning. So let me read this to you and then we'll talk about it. Last month it was announced Brian Tucker is going to take a crack at the movie script. What about his vision for the project impressed you to bring him on board? Todd says this. Well, it wasn't just my decision. There's a handful of other people working on it that we haven't announced yet. One of the people working on it that is going to be a big name when we finally announce it, I think he said he went through close to 100 scripts by as many people as he could. We were looking ideally for someone who could bring a voice to the character on two levels. I'm just a white Canadian kid. I haven't lived the life of a man in America of someone with dark skin. We thought it was important to get the perspective of somebody who has, someone with the perspective coming in and adding a slightly different bent to what you and I as comic book readers already know as to what Spawn is about. I didn't want to do the comic book origin story from issues one through three in the movie. We were looking for people, without even telling them that, to give something a little bit different. Unfortunately, 80 through 90% of them, according to the other person, involved who was interviewing most of them were falling into the trap of retelling the comic book story in the movie we saw that movie that movie came out 20 plus years ago from new line so what haven't we seen that would be interesting and relevant today both in terms of filmmaking and social content social content so here's my concerns with this and it's really early and we haven't seen anything but this is concerned because I'm looking forward to this movie. I, I want a good Spawn movie. I think it would be fun. Uh, here's what's going on. Like, so this up here, 
why can't Todd write this script? He's been he's the creator of Spawn number one. Uh, he's been telling this story for 20 years. Why is it a problem now? Because it's going to be a movie. Because he's a white Canadian guy. And uh, he he's not black. Uh, spoiler alert. Spawn Al Simmons is a African-American. And, you know, no one has said anything about Todd creating him in 20 years or however long Spawn has been around. But now, you know, we can't do that. Now, there could be a couple of reasons for this. One, he could just be trying to please the woke people so they leave him alone. Or, you know, maybe the movie might be woke. I mean, there's a lot of ways that we can look at this. This is my real concern. Uh, so what haven't we seen that would be interesting and relevant today, both in terms of filmmaking and social content? So what? This movie is going to have social commentary on what's going on today? That's not what people are looking for. What is it? So I can already, maybe this is the plot. Uh, it's going to be Al Simmons is walking somewhere in a hoodie, and he's going to have the police take him out is that what's going to happen and so this is going to ter be turned into a blm movie i mean that's you're asking for financial disaster already half of the country not going to be interested in this movie seems like a dumb business decision and i would say todd's a pretty smart businessman so i'm hoping that that's not what this is going to be but everyone wants to jump on this modern social commentary shit, thinking that it's a gold mine, and it's not. It's not. Look at uh, Doctor Who. You know, they brought back, I've been watching everybody that's big Doctor Who fans react to that Brian guy coming back, and they're all loving it. Why, why is he coming back? Well, they made Doctor Who a big social commentary show, and it bombed into the toilet and got flushed. So now they're bringing back the money makers. Nobody wants this social commentary shit, but they're so bent on telling these stories that nobody wants. So a little bit of concern here. I'm hoping that this is shit and like they're just saying, you know, kicking around ideas. And that's what this could be. It's very early. But this to me is a big red flag. First off, why do you have to feel ashamed for writing Spawn? You created this character introduced and created an original black character that people love. You don't need to feel ashamed for that just because of who you are. I think that's so stupid. And then this, uh, something relevant for today was social commentary. No, don't do this, Todd, man. You, 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 this franchise is like running hot for the first time in years. And uh, what a what a great time to push this while Marvel and DC Comics are on some kind of strange suicide pact, as Chuck Dixon said. Like now is the time to really push this as something fresh and and different from the from the soy that's coming from these other companies. So I'm hoping that this is you know this isn't going to go very far with the social commentary shit. We'll see. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.